So after making the last double crochet, line up the beginning round by folding it over like this and secure it with a hairpin so that they will not twist while you are connecting the two ends together. So as you can see, I put two hairpins there to hold the piece. The two ends are lined up right there. This is the working end and this is the tail of the yarn. And we are going to connect this end to this end. Now we are going to connect the end. So working on the working end of the yarn, we chain one after the last double crochet, slip stitch, skipping one chain from the double crochet of the other end. Make a slip stitch there and pull a long loop. Then we will work on the tail end of the yarn. So here's the tail end. So we are just going to turn the work so that it's not awkward for us. So remember I said to make the slip knot loose and I actually loosen it up. So we need to skip one chain and I think I need to remove one chain. I'm gonna put the hook on the first chain or beginning chain three. And we are using yarn tail and you can pull out this to fasten off, but I'm not going to do it in case I have to undo it for some kind of adjustment. Resume work, grabbing the working end of the yarn again to start round two. This is how the connected ends look.